Welcome to another edition of SKNIS Week in Review, a weekly program that highlights some of the top stories of the work of the government of Saints Kitts and Nevis. I am your presenter, Carissa Franks Benjamin. Coming up, Saints Kitts, Nevis, and Gula National Banks, two new mortgage programs giving persons the opportunity to become first time home owners and Department of Environment to make proposal to Cabinet for ban on single-use plastics. The Saints Kitts Nevis Anguilla National Bank launched two initiatives in May 2019, giving persons the opportunity to become first-time homeowners. One of the initiatives mentioned by Executive Manager Marketing at National Bank, Anthony Morton, during his appearance on Wednesday's June 12 edition of Working For You, was the national program for the realization of individual dreams and empowerment known as National Pride. With this program, you can borrow up to 650,000 to construct a house relatively at affordable cost at a fixed rate of only 5% per annum for the first 10 years. And this program targets first time homeowners who want to realize their dreams, like you say, of owning a piece of the rock. The marketing manager noted that the National Pride program consists of a number of features making it even more attractive. You can borrow up to 400,000 without any sort of down payment. So the first 400,000, there's no down payment okay. whatsoever. Mm -hmm. You can consolidate debts, consumer debts. You know, right now you're living and you're existing as a result of that. Um, you will have obligations that you, you have to make, whether it's a higher purchase or a small consumer debt. You can consolidate up to 10% of consumer debts into this mortgage. So for example, if you're borrowing 500,000, you can borrow up to 50,000 of that and apply that towards consumers debt to help okay. pay off those things. Um, and a key ingredient is that it is to construct your home you even have an opportunity to build, incorporate an apartment into that home experience. In related news, the Saints Kiss Nevis Anguilla National Bank, through its graduate Realizing and Achieving Their Dreams grad loan program, is also giving citizens who have graduated from college or university within the last 10 years the opportunity to refinance their student loan and acquire or construct a home with an additional option to purchase a vehicle. We are especially proud of this um, next program mm -hmm. uh, because we ask, as you indicate, uh, the youths and the students of the Federation to do well in school, go off to college, obtain good grades, come back and start a career that allows them to contribute positively to our community. And however, as you would say, with accomplishing these things, you, it is saddled, unfortunately, with debt. Um, and as you rightfully say, I've heard many persons um, complain about having to pay for student loan and thinking like it will never go away. But with the national grad, which means and stands for graduates realizing and achieving their dreams home mortgage program. It seeks to assist those same persons who are in that position, those persons who went off to UVI, who went off to uh, those schools in Texas, mm -hmm. mid, mid, Midwestern, who went off to UWE, who went off to England, and have now returned <coughs> and saddled with it, the national grad is here to provide you with up to 650000 And let me tell you the best part. There's no down payment to input if you don't want to, to borrow up to that amount at a 6% interest rate. Mr. Morton noted that even if the individual has obtained items on higher purchase or purchase a car, they will be able to consolidate everything with a grad loan and have one payment per month at a 6% rate per annum. Although the main focus of the loan is to build a house, says the executive marketing manager, 
persons can also purchase a vehicle within a reasonable price range. Student loans to be refinanced must not be over $120,000, says Paula Morton, officer in charge of the credit division. There's no input that is required for the grad. However, we do have um, some caveats. Um, you're bringing over the student loan unsecured for the most part, yeah. right? So your value in the transaction would be the house, the value of the house, the value of the land, and any um, equity you would have acquired from applying for the, the savings exemption on, on the materials. And so we have uh, a limit on the size of the student loan which is $120,000. She added that in this instance, the graduates will receive money for the expenses, including legal fees, loan fees, and other expenses that the consolidation portion unsecured. For more information, interested persons can contact the National Bank Credit Division at 869-465-2204, extension 1207, at the head office in Bastia, extension 1156, at the Pelican Mall branch, extension 4122 at the Sandy Point branch, and 469-5244, extension 3126 or 3133 in Nevis. The Department of Environment will be proposing to Cabinet a ban on single-use plastics, which include styrofoam products, plastic bags, plastic straws, and plastic cutlery, such as knives, forks, and spoons, says Director in the Department of Environment, June Hughes, of the government's weekly radio and television program, Working For You, on June 5th which was celebrated around the world as World Environment Day. Mrs. Hughes stated that the use of single-use plastics is a challenge for St. Kitts and Nevis and is one that should be tackled to safeguard the environment. She stated that from production of the plastic to its end use is a very short time span. The director stated that the ban will take some time to get used to. I think it's a Nevis has been taking this step. I, I say that because when um, one country who got out of the gate really early mm -hmm. had a lot of backlash from its people. So a lot of people have made mistakes, we are learning from those mistakes. A lot, a lot of people have triumphs, we are learning from those triumphs. So, and we are ready now to bring to the people of St. Kitts and Nevis this issue that we need to deal with. And, um, and suggest and promote, well, propose, that's the word I was looking for, propose <laughs> to the government of St. and Nevis to put in a ban on single-use plastics. Styrofoam products, plastic bags, plastic straws, plastic cutlery, including knives, forks, and spoons, will be the first target to be banned with others to follow. Mrs. Hughes stated that there are alternatives to the use of these items. She commended those who have seen the problem and have started to introduce the alternatives. She also encouraged persons to embrace the use of alternatives made from sugarcane byproduct and vegetative matter. Mrs. Hughes noted that the department recognizes that the alternatives are expensive but there is hope that the prices will be reduced. The good thing about this is that the world, not St. Kitts and Nevis, not the Caribbean, the world is moving away from single-use plastics. And so there are more alternatives available now, and they are getting cheaper by the day. The director stated that it is hoped that the government will consider duty-free concessions on the alternatives. I'm hoping that in the proposal that we sent, we would send to cabinet, that co cabinet would lean towards um, looking at duty fee concession on the alternatives. It may be in phased approach, as in we start with zero and we phase in until it reaches what percentage is supposed to be. The Clarence Fitzroy Bryan College, CFBC, on June 5th, hosted its inaugural Authors Forum, 
as part of its book promotion initiative entitled In Celebration of Books, which pays tribute to books, authors, reading and writing. Sonita Daniel, director of the library services at CFBC, stated that the book promotion initiative brings the curtain down on the research symposium based on the theme Research for Innovation and Sustainable Development. She added that the forum highlighted books on the national level. The director commended the four authors present at the event who have committed their thoughts to paper and have published their works. Authors present included Dr. Leighton Narain, Dr. Ricardo Neal, Stuart Laplace, and Peter Adrian. Books written by authors were on display at the forum. Mrs. Daniel stated that the focus on books is meant to inspire students, faculty, staff, and the wider public to read more and put a literary lantern on the social and economic issues confronting the society. A total of 37 students has recently completed the first phase of the Clarence Fitzroy Bryant College CFBC Health Science Division's 12-week certificate in elderly care course which was held from May 4th to June 8th, 2019. The clinical practicum component will be completed on July 20th, 2019. Participants who attended the course were from various institutions including public and private sectors from St. Kitts and Nevis. The course was held on Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Health Science Division on Lockhart Street, Bastia. Some topics of focus included role of caregiver, the aging process, rights of the elderly, dementia, Alzheimer's, bed making, meal planning and preparation, feeding of the elderly, pressure area care, basic life support, first aid, recording and evaluating care. The CFPC expressed a heartfelt appreciation and gratitude for the support, commitment and encouragement to the management and staff of the Safe Haven Elderly Care Home, the Royal Elderly Care Home, Cardin Home, Care Nursing Agency, Access Services, the Alexandra Hospital, and the flamboyant home in Nevis and the senior administrators of the CFBC and health science divisions, faculty and staff. That's it for this edition of SKNIS Week in Review. See you next week.